Hi! Welcome to Sunless Sea. Uh, we're going to be doing the Fulgent Impeller, which is the best engine in the game. 5,000 power and 50% fuel efficiency. Uh, which involves doing the tireless mechanic story, uh, and in turn doing the irrepressible cannoneer's storyline. Uh, I won't go into too much detail in this video about the irrepressible cannoneer, but there's a link in the description if you want to see that. If you're watching this on another site, visit YouTube directly and you can find it there. Uh, you're also going to need somewhere in the region of 10 to 15,000 echoes to complete this quest. You're going to need to upgrade your ship, um, the minimum to the uh, merchant trading vessel is the cheapest one with a bigger hold. Um, and also just various bits of money for along the way. Anyway, you can find the tireless engineer in Frostfound. Uh, he, it says he costs 20 echoes, but he costs 50. You can also find him in London. Once you've got him, have a speak. Uh, it's going to cost one supply to talk to him here. Uh, thanks for the meal and the company. No, no wine. It makes me sleepy. Oh yes, I can sleep. Too easily. That's the problem. He hesitates. And I guess that's the nub of this. Uh, he does sleep too easily. So we're going to have to take a clay man and an empty mirror catch box to Hunter's Keep. The clay man is from Polythreme. Uh, obviously the map changes on every playthrough, but Polythreme was there and Khan's Shadow is where you can pick up a mirror catch box. That's going to be 250 echoes. Um, so you're going to want to first head to Polythreme. Here we are. Uh, don't go to the shops, that's silly. Uh, instead, head here, carry claymen to London. That's it. And that's going to be your claymen. Uh, so you're actually only going to deliver five, but that'll net you 100 echoes. Then head to Khan's Shadow. Uh, that tends to be in this fourth quadrant here, um, but the position vertically will change. Um, and it's always near Khan's Heart and Khan's Glory, just to the southeast. Anyway, in Traveller's Friend, here, uh, you will find an empty mirror catch box for 250 echoes so grab that and along with there we are the clay men in the empty mirror catch box it's now time to head to hunter's keep hunter's keep is always in the same place just outside fallen london to the northeast just there so head there and as long as you've interacted with the sisters a couple of times by giving them news uh, and the place isn't in its later stages uh, you'll be able to visit the cellar we will need, the mechanic tells the sisters, to visit your sub-cellar. No, oh, that nasty place, Lucy says airily, a little hastily. Yes, we'll take you down there. But we'll need stories. Something alarming for Cynthia, a Z-story for Phoebe, and a tale of distant places for me. Now, if you don't have a Z-story, a tale of terror, and memories of a distant shore, uh, there is a way to get that pretty easily. These western angler crabs with 150 health are probably going to be your easiest way. Um... I know I'm in an upgraded ship here, but I'm going to demonstrate that it's actually very, very easy to kite them. Just keep them on the very, very edge of the damage range and back up slowly. You'll notice I'm going backwards with one power, um, but that's because I've got the engine already and I'm just recording this afterwards. Uh, but you can go back with two power, obviously, and you'll just kite them along and they probably won't charge you. And even if they do, their charge won't last the entire distance. Anyway, once you've done it, kill it, dissect it, tough challenge, there you go, one hunting trophy. Take that to Godfall, uh, which is, for me, just southeast of Polythreme. I think it always is, but I'm not sure. Uh, and it's the one that sort of looks like it's been bandaged in mummy bandages, almost like a mummy arm. Head there uh, with your hunting trophy and pick the option of blood. And that will exchange one hunting trophy for one of each of these three things. And you may want to be doing that a lot, because later on in the mission we're going to need that. We're going to need a lot of those. So hoard your hunting trophies and take them there. Anyway, once you've done that, you'll lose the empty mirror catch box, you'll lose one of the clay men, you'll lose the Z-Story Tale of Terror and uh, the Memory of a Distant Shore, but you will gain a Serpent Trap. Hurrah! Hurrah for Serpent Traps. Now, have a chat with the mechanic. Uh, allow him to enjoy his sleep. It might be messy he wants you. Could you have a couple of strong zealots standing by? Now you'll see there that you're going to lose, well, it's unlocked with three crew and I have six, so you're going to lose a crew. And I don't particularly want to be limping back to London. So I went to London directly and did it there. When nothing seems to be happening, you take to your own bunk, but a roar from the clay man brings you sprinting back to the mechanic's cabin. You fling open the door. The man's eyes seethe with ferric flame. It's struggling against the efforts of the sailors to restrain it as you rush to assist. It smashes one sailor against the wall with terrible force. Anyway, we've now got a mirror catch full of <laughs> box full of very angry dream snakes, as you do. 
Um, so now ask the mechanic to explain exactly what the hell is going on. Well, it's like this. I stole a secret from the Echo Bazaar with the help of the Finger Kings, you know, the serpents who rule dreams. Then I reneged on the Finger Kings. Don't look at me like that. Would you rather I'd given them the secret? <laughs> anyway, at this point, you should uh, just be able to click that. Now he's going to give you... I talk about engines all the time, I'm sure you noticed, and I dream about them. I found myself dreaming of the stone pigs. Oh, there, I don't entirely understand. Anyway, this is the mission to build the Fulgent Impeller. We're going to need one element of dawn, one casket of sapphires, 40 units of Stygian ivor, and you'll notice that's more than 40 things to have in the hold, which is why we're going to need to upgrade the boat. Uh, going to need to go to Frost Found uh, again. Uh, here we are, see, there's the uh, Merchant Cruiser, costs 9,000, but has a hold capacity of, or 6,000, sorry, a hold capacity of 120. Hold capacity of 70 there for 13,000. And a hold capacity of 100 for 28,000 Echoes. Um, you might, <coughs> excuse me, to make money, you might want to do the last tour operator event in Vendorbyte a lot. Um, you'll cost 12 supplies, you'll take a dozen Toon Colonists on their last tour. Uh, and when you get back, you'll get 1,500 Echoes for the trouble, along with a Judgment Egg that you can sell for 600. So you get 2,100 Echoes each time. So do that three or four times and pop into all the ports on the way. And you should find you make the money pretty quickly. So it shouldn't be a problem. Now, for the Casket of Sapphires, uh, you can either uh, kill Tyrant Moths, and if you pick the first option when you kill them, search for jewels. There we are. Not examine it. Nope, there uh, yes. You'll get a casket of sapphires for free if you're comfortable taking on tyrant moths. Uh, you can kite them pretty easily too. Otherwise, head down to Port Carnelian, which for some reason never actually reveals on my map, but it's this place here, east of Grand Geode. And there is a sapphire exchange where you can buy them for about 85 echoes if you'd rather do that. There's also lots of serpent uh, ty <coughs> tyrant moths down there. Anyway, after that, head to Wisdom. Um, Wisdom is near the Sea of Lilies. There we are. And you've got a couple of options here. You can either ransom a prisoner or rescue a prisoner, or if your pages is 175, and I can't imagine how it is, I just don't see how to get a stat that high, um, you can swat it, swap it for a searing enigma. Uh, but you can try rescuing a prisoner. If it works, you'll gain Doom Wisdom Forewarned, uh, and lose one crew and gain five terror, but then get the chance to pick the Unsettling Sage. There you are. Uh, if you fail that challenge, um, you'll lose 3 crew, gain 15 terror, uh, and still get the Doom Wisdom Forewarned. Not exactly sure what that does. Uh, I went to look at it again and it had gone. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, or you can exchange, or you can ransom a prisoner, which is going to cost 3,000 echoes. Uh, also, you can only rescue a prisoner once. After you've done it once, it's gone forever. If you fail the Hearts Challenge, it'll cost 3,000 echoes. If you succeed the Hearts Challenge, um, We'll get there in a second. Here we go. Uh, you'll lose 2,000 Echoes and lose 5 Terra, so you save yourself a 1,000 Echoes. But either way, it's probably worth taking the risk with the crew if you've brought enough along, because it's always better to save money. Anyway, once you've got the Unsettling Sage, uh, you can talk to him, well, not talk to him, but use him in your hold. Uh, and for one strange catch and one supply, uh, there we are, he will give you an extraordinary implication, which is no bad thing. Hang on to that, don't sell it, they're very, very useful. Um, I am accustomed, he admits frankly, to being used as a tool. This is what your mechanic will do. No matter, I am in his debt. Uh, so, after that, we have... Uh, you, or you can talk to him and swap memories of distant shores for Z-stories, if you want. And you can do that indefinitely. Although I don't know why you'd want to, because Z-stories are phenomenally easy to come by. Um, and in fact, it's about training them into other things, mostly. Uh, now, what have we got left to do? Uh, materials for the Impeller. One element of Dawn. This is going to be the tricky bit. We've got the Sapphires. Uh, the Stygian Ivory is easy enough. We'll buy that in a minute. Uh, the Mechanic Secret is still going to be quite challenging. Now, for this, you want to engage the Irrepressible Cannoneer. You can pick her up in London randomly with uh, another day new recruit between 8 and 9. Or in the Iron Republic. Uh, she will... Or, or he... I always call her a she. Him or she. Uh, he's always available down in the Iron Republic. Uh, speak to him. Uh, the initial chat will cost 10 fuel, 5 torpedo parts, which you can buy in Caro's Naval Surplus in Fallen London uh, for 5. Uh, and you'll need 3 Devil Bone dice, uh, which you can get in Mount Palmerston. 
Um, other than that, you pretty much get everything you need from the engineer, or the cannoneer, during the quest. Um, so once you've finished his quest and got the Memento Mori, uh, you want to head to Grand Geode. Um, there we are, the Memento Mori there. Uh, head to Grand Geode, and you get it from the gunnery officer. Here's the irrepressible cannoneer, <laughs> which we've just been over. Uh, it's quite a short story, um, and it's not actually that difficult. It's just a lot of travelling. Anyway, you'll receive one element of dawn, one judgment's egg, which you definitely want to keep, 1,000 echoes, and the gratitude of the machine. So go ahead and do that. There's the judgment's egg. Keep it. Uh, three supremacy for the dawn machine, 1,000 echo, and we've lost the memento mori. But that's the only way currently to get an element of dawn. Then up to Frostfound, we're going to get the mechanic secret. Enter Frostfound, you're going to need a mirror's score of 50 or more and terror under 20. And the reason we're keeping the Judgment's Egg is to rip the terror down on the way out. Uh, you might want to pump up your mirror's score, there are various officers who will do that pretty effectively. Uh, anyway, make sure you've got everything in place, there's the Judgment's Egg. Uh, and then head on in. Now, there's a few ways to do this. The problem is... Um, in each of these rooms there's a particularly tough stat challenge. The Sapphire Chamber is the first one, um, and the level of your terror determines the room that you'll go to next, so your Veil quality gives you a 21% chance, or I can just step straight through and lose a point of Veils. Now you'll see I've lost one terror, and that happens again and again and again, until I succeed there. Uh, now because my terror is 24, it actually puts me through to the same room. Um, which is kind of a pain. Let's see. Uh, but finally, I get my terror high enough to enter the Amethyst Gallery. Wherein, we have another challenge, uh, which will sacrifice a point of iron, or... Uh, because my iron is very, very high, I figure I can probably get away with this one for a Z-story, and sure enough, I succeeded the first time. Gain 10 terror, which takes us up to 35, which then takes us to the cavity, the next room. Now this one's a lot harder because it's a hearts challenge and my hearts is abysmally low. I got through all, well, I got through 25 uh, Tales of Terror. There we are, see, two left. And lost a huge amount of terror, which put me back to the Iron Challenge Room, the Amethyst, Amethyst Gallery, sorry. Uh, here, where we've already been. So in the end, I just decided, well, do you know what? Um, I'm just, apart from this room, I think, where I recall the Z, uh, I'm just going to take the stat point hit at every turn. Uh, so, through to the cavity, uh, gained one, gained 15 terror, the Emerald Vista. I took a go, well, actually, that's not true. I took a couple of goes here because it's only fragments that are being spent, and I've got lots of uh, spare fragments, and a 1 in 5 chance off my mirrors seemed like not a terrible thing to do. There we are, succeeded second time. Now, cross the Diamond Bridge. And if you've got the element of dawn before you come here, you'll be able to get through this uh, risk-free. It won't actually use the element of dawn, it's just an uh, option that allows you to step through with no penalty. There we are, your terror quality is now 95. Haunted. Uh, if you don't have that, a high-risk challenge using, using visions of the surface um, will get you through. Or cross the bridge and sacrifice one point of pages. There we are. Whatever you do, then enter the iridescence, and this is the room, here we are, uh, to retrieve the mechanic's secret. This, the mechanic says very quietly, is as far as we go. Let's get what we came for and get out. I don't want to see what's in the fog. Not again. <laughs> he comes up with a stone piglet, small enough to lie comfortably on the palm of his hand. Its eyes are bright pearls. Now please can we go? I can feel my teeth chattering out there. Um, so, luminescent dolphin's eyes follow in the thing, and we've got the mechanic secret. If you want to carry on through here, you can um, get back to the main room. You can use Know Yourself, uh, that'll cost you a searing enigma. Uh, not a bad way to choose it. Um, certainly better than losing a point of each skill. This will take you through to the final room, where, uh, if you use the judgment's egg that you had earlier, and interestingly retrieve the name which burns is coming on the 23rd of February, but unveil a judgment's egg. Uh, don't, I wouldn't recommend doing the uh, first option because uh, your kid or wife will die. But you get your Syrian enigma back and it wipes your terror as well. Um, so not a terrible choice there to kind of make your way back. 
Anyway, then off to Khan's Shadow. Sorry about the length of that, but I thought it was important to go through it in detail. And hopefully it wasn't too confusing. Uh, buy up your 40 Stygian Ivory. And bear in mind that if you're running a ship with a small cargo, this is basically the smallest cargo you can have, I think, and still do this, you're probably going to be pushed for space on fuel. Uh, I only had seven fuel at this point. Um, and I'd foolishly taken the most inefficient engine because I was bored of going everywhere slowly. Uh, but there we are, one element of dawn, one casket of sapphires, 40 units of Stygian ivory, the mechanic secret and the unsettling sage, and we're off to King Eater's castle. And there it is, the Stygian ivory, the casket of sapphires, the unsettling sage, and the element of dawn. And there is the mechanic's secret. Hurrah! So, now heading uh, south. Uh, to King Eater's Castle, I went via Adam's Way though because fuel was a problem. Now, if you want to not lose the Memento Mori, yeah, see, I completely ran out of fuel, basically limped into port. If you want to keep the Memento Mori, what you can do is actually retire your captain when you get the first Memento Mori, and then pass it on as a gift, and then build another. And that's really the only way you're going to do it. Now, to construct the Fungent Impeller. Under directions from the mechanic, your crew pieced the slabs of black ivory together, as the ancients were said to assemble stone walls without mortar. Sometimes they must saw a piece in half or abrade its sides to make it fit. But the work proceeds with surprising speed. The impeller begins to take shape, a squat, heavy-shouldered shape like a scarecrow built to resemble an engine. I don't think this is engineering anymore, the mechanic confides. Possibly it's witchcraft, but I don't really mind. Uh, it says you'll need five crew, I think, here. Uh, but you're not going to lose any, so don't worry. It's just you need five crew to build it, which makes it impossible to do in the little vehicle. And I'm going to read you a story. Now the mechanic wraps ivory segments with wire and scalds them with acid. He stains them with blood. I'll need some of yours too, he says apologetically. You're the captain. He studs the bones with sapphires. He has the sailors bring up the last two custom-made components. An assemblage of copper tubes in which he places the element of dawn and a steel capsule the size of a barrel, which he has the sailors lock into the impeller's black bone core. Almost ready, he affirms, it just needs a spark and a heart. He looks to the unsettling sage. Yes, I know, the sage says a little sadly. The heart is destiny's engine. He climbs into the capsule at the impeller's heart and locks the framework into place behind him. The mechanic strikes the tubes which contain the element and it spits forth a sizzle of rosy light. The ivory blaze blazes instantly with energy. The capsule, instantly incandescent with heat, seals shut forever. With a ticking sound, it slowly begins to cool. The impeller stands radiant and hold before you a jigsaw of heartlessly blazing, blazing ivory with a martyr at its core. What a relief, the mechanic says. I wasn't entirely sure that would work. He claps you on the shoulder. My work is done. Thank you. Thank you. And we now have a fungent impeller. Hurrah. Uh, now, this is a particularly remarkable engine. As I mentioned at the beginning, 50% fuel efficiency, uh, 5,000 engine power, plus 5 iron and plus 5 mirrors. Uh, to give you an idea of how it performs, acceleration on this old beast is pretty slow. But you can see, uh, actually what I might do is put in a little clip here running from London with this and the very basic ship so that you can see them side by side. But uh, bear rest assured, it's very, very quick. You can combine it with the uh, Caminus Yard Suppressor to avoid engine explosions and just burn fuel everywhere you go, like this. <laughs> Whee! It's actually times four. Um, but you can, even at regular speed, you can outrun pretty much any creature that you want. If you want to improve engine efficiency even further, you can put the tireless mechanic back into place. There we are, assign him, he'll give you an extra 5%. And there's a mile breaker, which you can pick up, it equips to the aft, uh, which you can pick up from Khan's Shadow for 2,000 uh, echoes, which will increase fuel efficiency a further 10%. Uh, the clay men are probably overkill for the extra 250 power, but they give me 5 iron, so I'm hanging on to them. Um, although at this point, 5 iron is actually not that much difference. Um, but that's it. That is the Fungent Impeller. You can see there how quickly it chews fuel up, though, once you've got maxed fuel efficiency. And if you drop the lights, it becomes more efficient still, losing only about 1, 1.5%. One um, every second. So not a terrible choice, uh, because you've needed to get a bigger ship to do this quest anyway, um, you'll certainly have the hold space to carry the fuel. Uh, watch out for the random event which can randomly add 20 terror uh, by having the fungent impeller equipped. Essentially make sure your terror never goes above 80 and you'll be fine. Anyway, 
On the left, the sigil-ridden navigator and all three outcomes for him. And on the right, the memento mori and the irrepressible cannoneer. Uh, so that you can find out how to get that if you are struggling. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!